Oh, 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 yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko. Now, I got some pieces of mail over here. Don't worry about this. This is what I'm excited about. This right here is a box. But not just any box. This right here may contain a $2,000 PSA graded Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. Now, sometime last year, I actually got to pull this Black Rose myself and I finally got it sent off to PSA and it finally has come back to me. Now, big shout out to D Legend. He middleman this service. Without him, I wouldn't have this package here today. And I'm so excited because this could potentially have a $2,000. This is legit. $2,000 to $2,500 PSA graded card, which is insane. But if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one i don't do these kind of videos too often i do plan on submitting a lot more things to psa in the future but this is really exciting because this is my first psa submission this is my probably highest rarity card most expensive card that i've submitted to psa now i'm going to be honest with you if it did come back at 10 and i told them specifically not to tell me what it came back because i really wanted to react for real for you guys so i know i've been taking a long time just talking to you right now but i'm so excited there might be two thousand dollars in this but in the meantime i'm also going to be doing a little mail day because i picked up some really high-end stuff and i didn't want this to be like a two-minute video just showing you guys there's a couple cards in here by the way it's not just the one expensive ghost rare and then i'm going to be showing you guys some cool stuff that i picked up as well so with that i'm sorry for taking so long let's get right into the video all right so you guys can see that this package right here little spanko right there this is for me i'm so excited however i'm going to leave this till a little bit later and then what we're going to do first is actually get into a couple pieces of mail over here because i just want to show you guys some stuff that i recently picked up even though i just said these are little pieces of mail they're actually pretty expensive cards that's pretty little compared to the psa stuff right so here i don't even know if i'm gonna get the tape off but there it is i'm just gonna show it to you guys right away fusion destiny ultimate rare there's actually two of them in here so let me see if i can get the tape off so i can show you guys what it looks like a few moments later all right so i finally got it out of the top loader and there you go two ultimate rare fusion destiny why are we picking up two this card's back at three because i already had one so these complete my place out which is really really nice i love this card two ultimate rares ultimate rare of course is my favorite rarity and they're two hero ultimate rares which is really nice of course it's not og heroes but you know hero ultimate rares is never a bad thing over here that's just on the sleeve so don't worry about that but these cards extremely nice cards and i'm really excited to actually have these in my collection finally have a place out of these that's really good that's something i wanted for a while so it's really nice to have that finished now right and then over here we have another piece of mail i just want to go through this fast because i really want to get to the psa stuff okay well here's the spoiler it's an ultimate rare ghost reaper and winter cherries really excited about this one essentially ghost reaper is actually fun fact one of my favorite hand traps in the game it may not be one of the best hand traps right now and i can't get into this so i'm gonna rip it out while i'm talking to you guys but it may not be one of the best hand traps there are some niche applications with like the uh, tier limit stuff but the really cool thing about this card or the reason i really like this card a lot is because when i topped my very first event or actually it was my second event when i topped my very second event but with one of my favorite decks of all time which is abc it was during abc paleozoic and metal full format that was the format right there so those were the three best decks and what happened was i just main deck three coast reaper which no one was doing everyone was siding it i main decked it and i also main decked a toad and a metal foes Al alcahest i think the name is heavy metal foes alcahest so i main decked those and i had cherries in the main deck and it worked out really well for me so this is one of my favorite cards so to max it out as ultimate rarity is really nice and then here you guys can see the ignis phoenix this card i just really wanted to play draco slayer again one of my first tops actually my very first top was with uh pepe but it was Pepe, Draco Slayer, you know how that stuff used to work. So for that reason, Ignis, you know, and the fact that Draco Slayer is coming back, I really wanted to pick this up. So, I mean, this is pretty good mail day right here. Three ultimate rares, as well as the one secret rare, Ignis Phoenix. I mean, and, and these don't even trump at all. By the way, I love this card. I'm just looking at it for the first time right now, and it looks absolutely stunning. The centering is a little bit off, but again, these cards I'm not getting graded, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for these. All right, so there we go. Right there is uh, my ultimate rares, my pickups, but... Let's get right into the PSA graded here because this is what I'm most excited about. This is what I wanted to get into the most. So let's get right into it. Guys, I know I'm going fast, but I'm just so excited to finally be seeing this. Like, I mean, I've been waiting months to get this back. So I pulled this card for context. And when I pulled it, I, uh, I actually, so there's multiple cards in here, but the Ghost Rare, the one that could be worth up to $2,000, I pulled it last year and I never actually got it graded until um, a few months ago. PSA had a service for like $18. And I was like, you know what? If it's that cheap, I'm going to get it graded. So I sent it in. I think this was like July or something and we're now in November, but I finally have it in. So I'm really excited about this. By the way, just before we get into this, we're actually going to go back in time because I did a little bit of a prediction so you guys can see what I think the cards are going to come back at, but we are going to find out now. So let's go back in time. 
past Spankle here and there's two cards here that we're going to be sending out for the submission now i actually have a lot more that i do want to get sent out but these two have a lot of sentimental value because i pulled these two myself and on top of that they're pretty high end cards so i'm going to be showing you guys the conditions on these and i'm going to give you guys my prediction i picked these two specifically because i feel like they can both come back 10 so you guys can see the corners here no dings on the corners no whitening on the edges whatsoever I'm showing you guys every single angle here you guys can see right if you guys see these white dots it's all on the actual sleeve oh i mean i just ruined the surprise but the first card here is the blue eyes white dragon this is a korean blue eyes white dragon that we pulled ourselves from the box that we opened this card is absolutely beautiful you guys can see the centering is perfect the nice thing about ocg cards is ocg cards in general have great centering and great quality there's a little dent here but the dent is not on the card itself i can show you guys it moves when i move the sleeve so that's actually part of the sleeve i might have just done it when i was like holding it weird but yes you guys can see that there's no actual damage or anything on the card there's no scratches on the foil either which is absolutely nice so yeah my prediction for this is going to be a psa 10 i mean i know it's kind of bold to predict psa 10s but this card it just deserves it the only reason i'm scared is because it's a blue eyes which means psa might want to pop control it and give it a psa 9 but i hope not i really think it could come back at 10 now this next card over here might be the most valuable card i've ever pulled maybe not the most valuable card in my collection but definitely one of the most valuable cards i ever pulled you guys can see there's no whiting on any of the edges these corners are like super clean and so here it is one of the most valuable cards the ghost rare black rose dragon pulled this card myself this was an absolute nutty opening actually i'm gonna post a quick clip of me opening this card because i kind of went nuts flashback goblin decoy squad i think it's coming up next i think it's coming up next prideful roar is a rare <laughs> end of flashback so yeah here it is guys i want to show you the condition on it real quick the centering is beautiful it's so amazing there's no corner damage there's no scratches on the ghost rare which is why i'm sending it in because there's absolutely no scratches oh you guys can see the color on that too right oh my god this card is absolutely nuts i have to predict the psa 10 i know it's hard to predict psa 10s but i have to predict psa 10 for the black rose psa 10 on the blue eyes i'm just excited to get these back so back to future spanko hopefully they're tens all right so i got the box here unboxed there's a ton of bubble wrap shout out d legend again d legend is the one who middleman this you guys can check out his youtube channel his instagram as well i really don't want to reveal anything okay beautiful these are the back of the cards but yeah check out d legend i'll leave a link to everything in the description below if you guys want to get your stuff graded you can always hit him up he works with a lot of canadians so i'm gonna be working with him in the future as well so oh wait 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 congrats on your brand new cards okay okay yeah i thought he exposed this i'm not gonna read this right now just because just in case there is an exposure i don't know what's what this one is sleeved and this one's not sleeved i assume this is the black rose dragon this may be the blue eyes so let's see what this one is okay so this one is the blue eyes i submitted this because we ended up pulling this in our lob opening i think i think we opened like a few packs only and we ended up getting the blue eyes ultra rare so i'm really excited so you guys can take a look i know you guys saw in the past spanko video you guys saw the condition on it but here's a better look at the condition there's no whitening there's no scratches on the foil which is kind of insane and then on the back here the centering looks really really nice i don't know if this dust and i'm pretty sure this dust is actually just on the uh, slab itself i don't think it's on the blue eyes so i'm excited all right let's see i really want to 10 in this because i really want to grab this the dark magician and the red eyes all in psa 10 so let's find out yes 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 this card came back a psa 10 our lov blue eyes oh my bro the fact that we submitted two cards only and the one was the blue eyes and this came back a psa 10 is insane okay okay that gives me hope that gives me hope okay i'm gonna read this note later again i don't want to look at the note because i'm scared that note has a spoiler and i do not want to see it but i'm super excited about this blue eyes white dragon oh my god yes all right so that's a banger okay that's that's really exciting the fact that i pulled it myself the thing is about these cards that i like to send in i like to send in cards that i pull myself because it has more sentimental value to me if that makes sense right this is something that i'm going to keep because i know i'm the one that pulled that blue eyes i'm the one that got this blue eyes graded and it came back at 10 this is not a card that i you know bought this is a card that i pulled so i'm really excited about this but you guys all are here for this one you guys my hands are shaking i've been waiting for months and i'm gonna my heart is gonna be broken if the grade on this is bad here it is all right we see the ghost rare black rose dragon guys oh my god okay so here it is 2008 
Black Rose Dragon, Ghost Rare Unlimited. You guys are going to take a quick look at the condition. I know I already showed you guys a condition earlier, but I want to show you guys a quick look at the condition now. No scratches whatsoever on the foiling. I'm just going to flip it so I don't spoil anything. The back is beautiful. No edge wear. I can't, like, when I pulled this card, I was like, there's no way. We just pulled a Ghost Rare with nothing on it. The centering is beautiful on it. There's no edge wear. There's no edge problems. None of that. And infamously, Ghost Rares tend to have scratches on the Ghost like you blow on this thing and then it's gonna have scratches all over it that's how fragile it is so uh let's find out let's find out if our ghost rare black rose dragon is a psa 10 or if it's a psa 9 I, I i'll take a psa 9 i don't think it'll be anything under a psa 9 but i really want it to be a psa 10 oh my god i'm stressed guys i'm actually stressed all right ready in three two one oh my yes it came back a psa 10 let's go i'm so so it, yes oh my god bro i was i was so stressed about this card this is a card that i really wanted to get in a psa 10 the fact that i pulled it myself i was away for like what five months or so and i ended up getting some crossroads of chaos packs and i really wanted to do an opening on the channel which by the way if you guys want to check out that opening i'll leave a link in the description below as well where we opened the card originally but uh this is insane so i got this graded i thought this card couldn't get back a good grade and uh, it did let me see this note now let me read this note real quick so aladdin by the way if you guys don't know aladdin is my actual name but i go by spanko so aladdin congrats on your brand new cards brother amazing grades and somehow no upcharge on the black rose dragon thanks for the trust okay d legend again this is d legend shout out daniel shout out d legend you guys check him out for sure great and easy guy to work with that's the best part about it but this oh my i'm so excited this is going straight into see right there see right there where i have a bunch of my graded cards and a bunch of like my nice stuff here the these two both of course are going in there and they're gonna be in my collection i'm not getting rid of oh baby the black rose is insane yo that's hype i was not expecting that dang that, that's good wow I know I shouldn't say this, but this is honestly making me want to grade more cards. Obviously, it took a lot of time and a lot of like patience with like looking at each card and making sure I wanted to submit it. Again, I pulled these pack fresh, and but the thing is, sometimes pack fresh isn't even all the best. Like sometimes pack fresh, you know, you still have weird scratches or you know off centered or you know sometimes there's dings on the back. But again, these two cards, no dings no scratches on the foilings nothing they both came back psa 10s oh that's exciting oh baby so that is it for today's video guys the fact that these both came back psa 10s is insane i'm so excited about this like this black rose is worth about two thousand dollars which is crazy i'm not sure how much the blue eyes is worth but again this is a collector's piece but guys this black rose right here look how oh my it's so nice PSA 10, bro, this is so clean. I'm so excited to be adding this to my collection. Like, bro, it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm just in a really good mood. I'm really excited. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys do want to see more of these kind of videos, I'm going to be doing a bigger PSA submission soon. I actually already hit up D Legend and I said next time the prices go down to like $18, $15 a card, I'm going to submit a ton. So if you guys want to see a full submission and a full like PSA return, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I don't do these videos too often, but it's crazy the fact that you know our very first PSA graded return video our very first time submitting to PSA I mean I've submitted to MNT and other brands before but PSA this was our very first time and I'm very excited about it so thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we're on the way to 7500 subscribers by the time you guys see this we might already be at 75 in that case let's get to 8000 I believe in every single one of you I trust every single one of you and I wouldn't be here without every single one of you so thank you guys all for watching I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart and with that guys Spankos I don't know. Peace.